Hello. In this short film, we're going to introduce you to some drama games and creative activities for teaching modern foreign languages in primary schools. First up, Holly, our theatre practitioner, and her daughter Kitty, who's in year two, are going to show us the Café Emotion game. We often look at café role plays in class. This is a way of adapting what you normally do with the role play to do something a little bit different. Create a simple café role play with two or more participants. Make sure the whole class understand it and work with them on the language. And then you need to prepare a box or a tray with different emotions in. These could be in English or in your target language. You could even use emojis like we do in our example. You then get the performers to choose a random emotion and that's going to inform their character all the way through the scene. The audience then have to guess what emotion they're doing. Or you can adapt it by getting them to choose emotions during the scene blindly from the box and suddenly their next line has to show that emotion. You could even get your audience to very gently throw paper aeroplanes at the performers with emotions written on. Bonjour madame, ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et vous? Tu suis bien, merci. Qu'est-ce que tu veux? Je voudrais un potage de légumes et le euh, jus d'orange, s'il vous plaît. Voulez-vous un dessert? Oui, un glace de chocolat. Très bien. We've worked with some primary teachers on how we can introduce foreign languages and creativity in ordinary moments in the school day, like taking the register and answering in different languages or counting pens back into their pots using different languages. Here's an example of an activity with help from my two nephews and niece, Percy, Ronnie and Rita, who are in years one, two and five of primary school. Hola, clase. Hola, professor. ¿Qué tal? Bien, gracias. Muy bien. Ronnie, ¿qué día es hoy? Hoy es martes. Muy bien, Ronnie. Y Rita, ¿qué día fue ayer? Ayer fue lunes. Muy bien, Rita. Ahora, Percy, ¿qué día será mañana? Mañana será miércoles. Muy bien, chicos. Adios, clase. Adios. Language learning doesn't have to stay within a set language lesson. It can be peppered throughout the week, supporting topic work, and practicing key vocab outside your language lessons. Language specialist staff can support classroom staff to prepare work in advance. Let's imagine a topic like the rainforest. Under this umbrella title, we can include science, history, geography, Spanish, SPAG, reading and writing by using drama activities. We're going to look at the Aztecs, we're going to look at the Spanish conquistadors and rainforest creatures. Just using some simple props and costumes, rearranging the classroom, you could make the camp of the conquistadors after they've landed on the South American peninsula. You could be enrolled as teacher as their translator. You could then encourage your troops to talk about the journey that they've just made from Cuba or the journey up ahead of them as they travel through dangerous Mayan territory. This could exercise could be done in the target language or you could do it in English and use it as an inspiration for a writing exercise where they're then going to write letters home in the target language talking about the journey they've had. Yo fui to join the Spanish fleet from Cuba. I had heard about the huge rivers of gold on the island. Nosotros fuimos to fight the Aztecs, but on the way we had to fight so many tribes and bring them to our side. Together we fought to destroy the Aztecs, but they were terrifying. Ellos fue one to the temple every day to sacrifice their victim, up the steps to the altar to cut out their hearts. To fuiste the right way when you ran away from the fighting. I have never been so scared. The 
this next activity is looking to combine adjectives from your target language with exploring creatures from the rainforest. Use printed images or wooden toys or cuddly toys, anything you can find, and create a display of them behind a leafy shade. Then you do your best David Attenborough impression, get your binoculars and use the target language to describe one of those animals. You could make it a competition with your class to see who can guess first which animal you're describing. Then you can get the students to have a go. They get the binoculars, they get to describe an animal to their classmates. This could lead on to written descriptions of the animals, or you could make your very own class wildlife documentary, complete with class created sound effects. I mean, who doesn't want to do an impression of a howler monkey? This animal is Grease. Grande and Lento. El Elefante! This animal is Verdi, Rapido and Pequeña. La Rana! 